両手広げ大空見上げ前よりしたる夢を刻もう才能に負けない以上 Hey yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy my Mac and I'm back with another one So this is gonna be a quick look at uh, the way Sugimoto fought off those bears in Golden Kamui episode 1 and uh, also how he turned it around and used those bears in episode 3 and a quick analysis of it so look at the video first <laughs> Yep, I forgot to mention I'm pretty hard to kill. So as you can see in the video, uh, when Sugimoto first gets attacked by the bear, well, in the first in the first encounter with one, Ashripa has to save him. But then in the second encounter with the more vicious uh, bear that didn't get to hibernate, he gets uh, you know pretty much attacked by it pretty quickly, and also have to see. How he has to pretty much lay down and has to bear fall on his uh <laughs> on his bayonet to kill it. Um, I think this is very cool because it was a pretty much spontaneous thing. I think this also gives a quick insight into just how quick with it uh, Sigamoto can be when he fights. Um, I think he's a very versatile fighter. Honestly, when he punched the bear, I thought that was hilarious. Like he just punched him like, dude, really though. So, I thought that was pretty crazy. Um, but I think it's just helpful to see just, you know, how, how, how fast he'll come up with a way to win. Uh, also, how tenacious he is with winning. And also, how he survives the fight, you know, past the point where somebody thinks he, he'll be dead. Because at first, Ashariba was like, oh, he's still alive. Thought he was dead. Oh, well, well, shit, big ups to you, homie. So, now let's look at how Sugimoto takes information about bears and uses it later to go and uh, have the bear fight for him. All right, here's the video. We use a den if they can find one. There's one right over there. Go on, take a look. Wait, why should I go? If there's icicles on the entrance or it smells like raw meat, there's likely a bear inside. Be quiet when you approach, Sukimoto. It should be hibernating, right? It's just half asleep while it hides from the cold. If you're loud, it'll still wake up. Yep, there's icicles, and a whole bunch of half-eaten bamboo. Is there a bear? Might be. Wanna catch it? Uh, seriously? We'll put stakes over the entrance to seal it. The bear will get nervous and poke its head out. Then we hit it with a poison arrow. My father was braver than most men. He would take the poison arrow with him into the den and wait for the chance to kill the bear himself. There's an Ainu saying about that. If a human enters the den of a bear, their life will be spared. Like hell I'm doing that. I mean, it's not... 
smoke him out? Yeah, forget that. Let's just shoot. But if he dies, we can't get any info off of him. If he's immortal, he can't die, right? I vote we shoot him and find out. So as you see in this one, Sugimoto took the advice he got from Asharipa about uh, bears not attacking people who dive into their nest or uh, their burrow and used that as a way to trick the soldiers that were going after him and to have the bear fight off those soldiers for him. Should I mention the way these bears are designed is amazing. It looks great. It really does. And also just the craziness and brutality of the show can really catch you off guard. Cause you know, just to see the bear just go out and slash that guy's face off, uh, pretty much make him shoot the other guy in the mouth, and then to see how the uh, other guy fights off the bear, still wins, but you know, like, he's dead at the end of the day. So I think this goes into good insight into how Sugimoto fights, and also how Sugimoto uses and retains information, you know, to help him keep uh, keep surviving, and to keep on the montage of the immortal Sugimoto. Uh, any critiques on the video, you know, put them in the uh, comment section. You think there's something else that you would like to look at for an analysis, uh, you know, leave it in the comment section as well. Thank you for your viewership. Subscribe.